Here with the host of Madison's Game Night, Greg Scalzo, Jim Rutledge, and we're asking them their opinions on Alex Rodriguez. He's a bum. He's a bum. B U M bum. He's look. Alex Rodriguez came into the Major League Baseball is the most highly touted, most talented player, probably of the last thirty years. He had probably been doing steroids by the time he got to Major League Baseball. He is of this new generation, not the Roger Clemens, Barry Bonds, where they build a name for themselves and they use PEDs in order to take themselves to the next level and succeed through old age. He is one of the first of his generation, the generation that is the PED generation, to use it throughout his entire career. Everything he's ever done is a farce. All right, quickly, Roger Clemens, I don't think he extended the Hall of Fame career. He was a bum when he left Boston. By all accounts, he started taking PEDs when he went to Toronto, and then he got good again. Because otherwise, he's probably a guy that's out of Major League Baseball because he's a power pitcher, and most of those guys can't hang for a long period of time because their arms fall off. You take PEDs so you can recover quicker and get, get to the point where he used to be. But you talk about the generation. Alex Rodriguez is a bum. We know that. He's, you can't even root for him. I couldn't root for him, I couldn't root for him before. Uh, I knew he was a PED guy. He's, he's annoying. He's just not a guy that looks like he'd even want in the clubhouse or anywhere else. Uh, but... Is Ryan Braun a member of the PED generation? Someone has been, do you believe someone has been juicing since at least college? Look, I, I have a lot more respect for Ryan Braun because eventually he eventually he took his medicine. It took him a little bit while. It he took understands him a while. public relations a little bit better? He, yes. You know what? I do respect the fact that he I understands do. public relations but a little bit But he wasn't taking his medicine until he was forced to no, take his medicine. But having said that, yes, he is part of that generation. Heck, he went to PEDU, which is the University of Miami, which is where Alex Rodriguez would have went to college, which is also about a block away from the Biogenesis Clinic where Tony Bosch came up with his brilliant recipe to give PEDs to Alex Rodriguez. So, yeah, I think Ryan Braun's a part of that. Uh, and just one last thing on Rodriguez. I have a framed, giant picture of a-Rod getting punched in the face by Jason Veritek. Not in my bedroom, not in my living room, in my dining room, because I'm classy like that. Yeah, he does a lot of weird things, like the throw, like the face pass stuff and slapping the ball. Like, he's just he's just a weirdo. He's Dating like, women bodybuilders. Yeah, Madonna, too. Like You, you wouldn't even want to have a beer with him. You'd, you'd turn it down and be like, no, I don't want to. Uh, we got to get back to the show, and I want to get an opportunity to have a, a one more slice of Rocky or go, go pizza before we get back and do game night. So we're out.